and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm be going over the best players at each position in Madden 20 right now, guys. Now, I'm going to keep this pretty pretty nice as per usual, guys. I will not be doing offensive linemen because they just waste a lot of time. And at the end of the day, to be honest with you, they're all kind of similar for the most part. So, in my opinion, I don't really do offensive linemen because NFL, there's the NFL 100. There was NFL uh, Ultimate Legends. There was team of the year they're all pretty good i mean again as long as you have what as long as it fits you it's a good run scheme pass scheme all around and there's really no such thing as the most overpowered lineman unless he's like a very well-rounded one like the one i just picked up like a uh, walter jones or joe thomas other than that just kind of go for what you guys feel as though your heavy run your heavy pass at the end of the day as long as you do that you're pretty fine but guys before we get into the video make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn on the notify bell, boys can give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you guys have anything to add to this list but let's get going guys best quarterback in madden Right now, in my opinion, golden tickets are about to drop. I want a golden ticket quarterback. Those are probably going to be the best quarterbacks in Madden. But Mahomes pretty much built like a golden ticket already. So don't discount the fact of getting Mahomes still. Mahomes, if he goes down in price from golden tickets, definitely scoop him. Guys, he makes every throw. He has escape artist. He can run. He has dashing dead eye. No look dead eye. He can do everything. Mahomes is always a go for quarterback. And that's about the only one I'm really considering right now. And then golden tickets, of course. Coming over to halfback. There's a new king in town, Barry Sanders. Greatest halfback in Madden right now, probably. Guys, that human joystick just feels different. When I'm running out of the backfield, I can just run around people, which is that momentum's just so huge in the backfield. Because typically, when you pick your hole in Madden, you gotta stick to that hole. With Barry, you don't have to stick to that hole. Actually, you can take the hole and then just cut right left right away and just get around people, which that momentum shift wasn't really able to be done without human joystick. I highly recommend you pick up Barry. He does have a little bit of a fumbling problem, but you get used to that. Fullback, Okoye, of course, but the thing with Okoye is he's too expensive. Do not touch him for the time being. Now, Okoye, just great blocking, great speed, great carry. He's just such a, he's a do-it-all fullback. He just, he's way too much of a luxury right now. I recommend you don't pick him up. Now, wide receiver, we have no 98 99 yet, guys. So, remember, I think when the Julio Jones uh, golden ticket drops, he's going to be my number one receiver in Madden for now. But for now, I'm going to give you guys two other guys that I'd recommend. First off, I recommend you use your Torrey Holt. I have Torrey Holt in 99 overall, guys. Show you guys what he looks like. He's a monster. This Torrey Holt's amazing. Great speed, amazing route running, great, pretty great catching. That's all I really care about. He's a route. He's like Antonio Brown. He's my Antonio Brown, but a little bit faster. And I recommend you guys go Calvin for the second guy. Calvin powered up. In my opinion, these are the three you want to go. Calvin powered up, Torrey Holt, and you want to go with the new golden ticket Julio when it comes out. That's going to be a, a squad right there. Julio's like a do-it-all route running kind of catching speed guy. Calvin's a, mo a ma just a monster that can do it all. And then Torrey Holtz, again, can do everything besides maybe contested red zone catches, but that's not what you're using him for anyways. But those are my three wide receivers right there. Again, most of them are decent price except for Calvin. Uh, Calvin's too. Oh, I mean, Calvin is decent price. The other, Torrey Holtz free, actually, and Julio's going to be golden ticket. So we don't know on that front just yet. Tight end, again, Alvin is going to be pretty good. But for now, there's a few different decent options. Honestly, guys, Mark Andrews isn't that bad. It's not horrible. But I still think Kittle or Tony Gonzalez is still the move because Kittle gets you the run block, which is so important to Madden right now. And then Tony Gonzalez gives you the route running. Preferably get both. And if not, wait for Ultimate Legend Kittle. I mean, oh, sorry, Ultimate Legend Tony Gonzalez. That's kind of where I'm leaning at this moment in time. Now, again, I'm going over the linemen. Just pick up whatever Ultimate Legends you want or whatever team of the years you want and base it on what you do because I can't, like, again, linemen do different things. They pull, they don't pull, they're strong, they're not strong, they have higher awareness. Whatever fits your scheme. Now, coming over to the left end. Left end, in my opinion, guys. There's been a few there's been a few decent ones. A few good ones. It's really tough with left end here. And here's the reason why. Because again, there's no bigger ones just yet, which is why golden tickets actually there's no left end golden tickets, so you can't really look forward to that. Right now, with what we currently have, I think it comes down to two guys. Julius Peppers, if you just want a pure speed rusher, like glitchy speed rusher. You go with Julius Peppers, he's tall, fast, great finesse move. Now, if you want to do it all kind of guy. In my opinion, I think Calais Campbell is still really great. If you power him up and chem him up all the way, you do get his NFL honors for free, which means you do get him to the close to like a 99. He ends up with like a 96 power move out with chems on with 99 block shed. He's very well-rounded, and if you really don't want any of that, guys, Ed Tutal Jones, he's a do-it-all guy with block shed and power move. Ed Tutal Jones is actually, in my opinion, better than Calais, but he's a, he's a little more expensive, so it comes down to what you want, although his redux isn't horrible. But left end, in my opinion, I'm waiting for a newer one. I don't think I'm going to go with any of those guys. So I'm still rocking with Strahan. Now, right end, simple, 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 simple. Come all the way down, uh, right about here. 
for the small cost of 263 you get aaron donald greatest greatest end in the game right now powered up and chemmed up gets 99 power move and 99 block shed so that's all you got to know he's the greatest run stopper and greatest power pass rusher with 99 strength he's one of the strongest guys as well with 84 excel and 91 uh, acceleration with decent finesse moves cards awesome highly recommend you pick up aaron donald guys defensive tackle another position where you could honestly you could get away with Warren Sapp, but right now the best one in the game is probably me and Joe Green at 371. Still a little expensive considering he was a lot cheaper. Wait till Ultimate Legend Saturday. 80 speed, 85 excel, 97 strike, 94 tackle, 92 play rec, 98 block shed, 95 power move, and 81 finesse move. Now, overall, great, great athleticism for a defensive tackle. Combine that with that block shed and power move. He's powered up and chemmed up, going to be one of the best block shedders in the game, as well as one of the best pass rushers in the game with great strength. He's pretty much Aaron Donald at defensive tackle just a little bit slower but overall still a great defensive tackle he's gonna be able to clog runs rush the pass i just overall really think he's a great card now here guys i honestly like this ted hendricks outside linebacker most people might not i think he's pretty for me for me he's great now there's a reason for that and i'll show you guys why so i've been looking for a zone linebacker all year and i've come to terms with the fact that this might be the highest i'm gonna get with the stats he has so 77 zone you put lockdown on he'll have an 80 zone which is decent 81 zone decent but he's six foot seven which means he's gonna be literally such a monster on the field like at where he's standing it's gonna be hard to throw over him because you're gonna like even if he's like even if you think even if you haven't beat you might not want to throw over him seam routes and tight ends he's gonna be just really big 88 speed's decent 90 excel power to up i can get that up to like a 91 92 which is good and then he's a 95 tackle which means he's gonna be a secure tackler 97 play rec which is great that 96 block show will be 99 powered up and chemmed up which is what i want so where he's going to be at outside linebacker, which is kind of like in a zone over there for me, he's going to be able to play a decent zone. He's going to be able to block shut off the guy to stop the run. And if I do act, and if he has to pass rush or accidentally leave him in there, he can decently pass rush. But what I care about, I wish he was a little bit faster, but I think I can make it work with 10 Hendricks. He's really, really solid in my opinion. Next, we got middle linebackers. I personally wouldn't get Lanier right now. I'm waiting for a new linebacker, but he's of course the best. That speed, hit power, zone, block shot combo. He's going to be one of the best run stoppers, one of the best hitters, one of the fast guys. But I don't. I think he's too slow overall, but I think he's fast for linebacker. In my opinion, guys, I would just use Team Captain Shazier if you haven't already. But if you, if you haven't picked him, I would wait for Ultimate Legend Patrick Willis as the one linebacker I want. That's the ultimate. That's the power. That's the one I'm waiting for. That Patrick Willis is going to be so much faster than this really Lanier. Two best linebackers right now, probably Patrick Willis, still the Christmas one, and Willie Lanier. Those are the two I'd be using because I know he's going to get a power up, upgrade, and that's who I'm going to go with because Willis is going to be super fast, same hit power, same zone, he's going to be way faster. You want to get that speed, but Willie Lanier is not bad. Just personally, I think there's going to be better uh, fast linebackers coming soon, and he's like 90 speed getting a little too slow for this game at this point, considering everyone on the field, like quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, all have 98, like 97 to 99 speed. Most people are going to play. Now, right off the linebacker, there's still only one guy. Now, for the time being, it's Clowney, but that's not who I'd go. I'll explain that in a second. So, Clowney right now is the best pass rush run stuff speed combo in Madden right now. It's pretty self-explanatory, but his is his final card, which is why I wouldn't go with him. I personally would get this card for right now. I'd get Lawrence Taylor for 200. Oh, what is he? 190? Pay one for 190. Power him, come him up. He's almost as good as Clowney. He's a little, he's still worse, but he's not, he's not that far off. He gets his NFL 100 ability as well as, if you guys don't already know, he will be getting probably a 98 and if we get lucky and we would like another two weeks he'll end up getting like a 99 ultimate legend where he will be the glitchiest pass rusher in madden 20. so i'd recommend you go with him instead because we know lawrence taylor will get an upgrade we all have a power pass as well which we can end up using in that case or scenario so i'd recommend you wait on that one next we got cornerback at cornerback in my opinion byron jones like right here byron jones and night train laner so you gotta have right now byron jones overall has maxed out zone, maxed out press, maxed out jump. Uh, and by the way, kept up and powered up, maxed out play rec, maxed out excel, maxed out agility. He will have close to maxed out speed if you have John Madden and Sprinter. And this man will come up to like a 97. This card's insane. This card's the overall like back of the card stats cover corner. He's not as good as like a Night Train Lane in my opinion, just because Night Train Lane has a lot more to offer in terms of he almost has all those stats, but he also has the uh, hit power with him and the block shedding, like 94 whatever hit power is just really crazy considering the fact that that means that he can he can lay the boom enforcer like his card's crazy good and he can return the ball like nitrate uh deon sanders and then i think for the third you want to go deon sanders i think those are the three right now byron nitrate and deon sanders but if you really want to wait you can wait for a golden ticket like cravon leblanc or mike evans i think mike evans six foot five with nitrate lane uh six foot one and then deon sanders in the slot will be an ultimate trio but we gotta wait for that one and then for free safety in my opinion I think 
who you want to be going at this moment in time. You can either wait for free safety Calvin, but I personally like 95 overall Sean Taylor. This Sean Taylor, powered up and chemmed up, ends up looking crazy good as I have right here. On my team, he ends up with like a 97 speed. He ends up with um, 90, what is it, 96 hit power, 97 zone. Now the next Sean Taylor will end up with a 99 speed, close to 99 excel, 99 zone, uh, 90 man, 99 hit power. He's going to be so glitchy. I think he's good because he's going to probably get an ultimate legend, which means that he will overall be the best free safety in Madden. Or you can go free safety Calvin when the time comes. But in my opinion, I'm leading towards just sticking Sean Taylor the rest of the year. I haven't powered up for that exact reason. Guy's super glitchy. Now, strong safety, we got to go with the brand new one. Ed Reed's, a, Ed Reed's a ball hawk. Always has been, always will be. Powered up and chemmed up, ends up with a 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 play rec, 99 zone, 90 man coverage, and like a 93 hit power. So you'll be able to hit, finally, Ed Reed's usually can't hit. He's going to be able to hit, play maxed out zone, play great man coverage, actually, and be so fast on the field. Guys, that wraps up the list. Hope you guys did enjoy. Kicker, Zang and Zoss, Punter, Treyway, as always. Um, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on that notification bell down below if you haven't already. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you guys have anything to add to the list. But that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.